Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Dorota Palicka International Nail Artisan Educator here and today we are going to do a beautiful ombre nail art with a tiny bit of the sugar on top of it. You can have a wee preview of it in here. It looks absolutely fantastic for the spring coming up and also I love those pastels colors as well. I hope you really enjoy watching this tutorial. Let's start! I will actually show you a full process how I'm preparing my practice finger. So I've got a tiny bit of the sellotape in here so the form can stick in well. And I'm using those uh, kind of see-through pink tips. Uh, so just squeeze it in underneath. And then I'm filing it with the file just so it has lots of scratches so the gel is going to stick to it and it's not going to come off. Okay, I will shorten the free edge quite a lot because uh, otherwise the form doesn't fit in well. Obviously, this is not a real finger and I'm so missing doing a client like uh, so much because uh, it's totally different and I guys cannot wait when I will be able to uh, reopen the salon again and record the tutorials on the clients for you because it's nothing like on the real person, you know, they are different types of nails and um, they are more real situations uh, which we have to deal with. So, uh, definitely once the salon will be able to reopen <laughs> I'll record lots of tutorials from the salon for you. I just removed the dust and then I can apply the nail form and um, because of this reason as well I will do a shorter nail this time compared to the last few tutorials <laughs> where I have been going a bit longer. So for the short nails um, the form application can have more uh, more mistakes. I mean it shouldn't have mistakes but they are more for they can be more forgiven uh, compared to the longer nails. Like the longer the nails, the harder it is to do a uh, nice job. So uh, that's why I like to showing on the longer nails because it's more difficult. Uh, but obviously today I will show you on a shorter nail. Uh, let me know down in the comments below as well which nails uh, you prefer me doing like a shorter or a longer ones on the practice finger just so I know what kind of tutorials record for you. So I have just applied I have just almost applied a nail form. <laughs> there we are. And now we can sculpt this short nail. And uh, what else I could do on the practice finger, I could actually do a tutorial on the tips for you guys as well, if you want it. Um, again, just let me know down in the comments below. So we would just prep the nails. Obviously, it's not like on a real human, but let's pretend we are doing a real human. So extra nail dehydrator, universal air bond, Wait for it to dry. And then we are going to use the fiber gel and a light rose. I can actually show you as well the soft pink because I get this question quite a lot. So soft pink is perfect for a baby boomer. On my nails I've got the light rose and I feel the light rose is the most natural looking one on the, on the nail beds. Uh, so the light rose, that's this one. It looks really dark in a pot but on the natural nails it looks really natural. Uh, why this one will look more, more fake is more lighter color but I would use it more for a baby boomer and I love this one. The light rose is my first choice for the clients in a salon if they don't go for the baby boomer. Well let's build quickly this uh, nail extension. So I'm just starting with this uh, thin application of the gel on the entire nail bed then pick up another scoop of the product to extend the free edge. And obviously the shorter the nails the quicker it will be and easier and less layers like on the longer nail side we might sometimes do it three layers on the shorter nails always one layer uh, two layers is enough okay so just small extension and then give it a cure Yes, I have also, actually, for those who think I must struggle pulling this uh, finger from the stand, I've got those mobile nail lamps as well, like the battery operated ones, but I just, I don't know, I think I'm used to using the normal one. Or it's my laziness as well. 
So in the meantime, when my needle is curing, I'm just going to clean my brush. So clean it really well, get it nice into point, just so it's easier to work with the product as well. Okay. And let's build up the apex. So pick up a small scoop of the product again, on the one side of the brush, then apply it through the entire needle extension. Nice and thin layer, very close to the cuticle. And because we've got so little product, it's much easier to, to have a control over it. You can just touch up any missing places. And now let's build up the apex, so a big scoop of the product. And right in the middle, like leave some small gaps, so the apex comes up gradually from the cuticle area. Working more through the middle, because by the time I reach the end, the product is going to get into the right place. reach the free edge, clean the brush, if necessary touch up any other places. I don't think so it is necessary, just give it a cure. So much quicker if we're working on a shorter nails and much easier. I'm just cleaning my brush, put it on the side and then once the nail is cured we can remove the inhibition layer and shape it. And the shaping is going to be, again, easier, much easier as well. Okay, that's it, almost ready. Here we are. So now I can cut the tape and I can remove it from the finger. So that's just a piece of tape so the form sticks in well. Pull the form down. Clean the needle well, like really well. Remove the inhibition layer. Shape the free edge. Okay, nice and straight, nice and straight. And I might actually talk about the coffin shape structure as well. Um, so if I would shorten this coffin, it would be more kind of square needle. Can you see it, guys? It is almost square needle. The longer it becomes, the more coffin look it is having. And then if we would go really extremely long, it will be a stiletto needle. So it is like a cut stiletto needle, I would say, because uh, we have to file the coffin into when I'm... And this is actually good to show. So that's how I'm going to file my coffin into... Thanks, cameraman. Into this shape. So... Eventually, if it is a short coffin, it looks like this. Then if it's longer, it will look like this. And if it will be extremely long, it will look like this, okay? So remember that, and this way you will be always getting a nice coffin shape. So I'm just filing those free edge, side walls. Okay, those V shape, yeah? And you can see my filing lines. Let me clean that. So one side, other side. Okay, I'm filing those places. And this way the shape already looks pretty decent. So you always start with those places. Then you have to check if it's nice and even, like a hairline. Okay, on the hairline, I really love to look through the entire nail as well, so I can see where I've got too much product. And you can guys clearly see it that I've got too much product in this place. So to get to kind of even out the nail, I'm going to use my favorite movement, but you cannot file it only from the one place. So you have to file it all over. You would file on the side, on the top, everywhere. And first of all, we want to thin out those free edge. You don't want like a huge thick nails, because there is no necess like there is no need for it. Like this is a really plenty product. Like you don't want any more on the free edge, because uh, it will look chunky and and um, it would also uh, it could also cause the lifting as well if you've got product too heavy at the free edge. And then just blend everything around the cuticle area and you can see it what a beautiful needle we have already created so the shorter the quicker it is now take a buffer and just buff and smooth out this needle and then we can move on into a beautiful design 
So I'm just smoothing everything out. But this is not a high shine buffer. It's a buffer which creates scratches. Okay, a little bit more. Then clean it. And then we can move on into the design. So I just wipe the dust away. Now we are going to need the color plus gel to create a beautiful ombre. So I'm going to pick up some paint on French gel in two places. So one, two, actually three, because then we need it for the design as well. And then blue, just a small drop of the blue. So mix it this one well. And I actually love the Color Plus gels for the ombre and for baby boomer because it's so quick to do it. They're so highly pigmented. And then red. Again, drop of it so we've got a nice pink color. And what will happen if we mix these two together, the um, blue and a pink, we will get a purplish. So this way we will have a really nice uh, ombre. Okay, so that's my colors mixed well. And now let's paint it. So using my gel brush. Of course you could do it with the gel polish as well, but I think with the gel polish it's always more time consuming. Because uh, you have to do two, sometimes even three layers. So on the one side I'm going to pick up the blue. Okay, so this is the blue. So paint it well. Right to the middle of the needle. And then on the other side, I've got some blue left on my brush. I'm start applying the pink and what is happening and we're getting kind of purple color in there which is so awesome. Clean my brush and then pick up the pink. Okay, nice clean pink. Apply it in. So concentrate on the one side first and now with what you've got left on your brush we are going to blend it. Even clean it. And then start blending those two colors together. So basically what you're doing is just dragging the product down the way. Got some beard. Unless you get some accidents like I did. There we are, some fluff. Okay, so let's quickly blend that out. And this way we've got three colors. We've got blue, purple, and we've got pink. Okay, then give it a cure. Give it the cure, and then we're going to use some sugar ink as well. And some white design. No, that's not this way, that's this way, this way, and here. Okay. So for the next part of the design, I'm going to use the um, uh, watercolor brush, which is a slightly larger brush. So it's like a pretty decent sized brush and just perfect for this technique. Okay, pick up some 
paint on French gel and really like on press it very hard like the harder you press it the better so press it really hard okay you want to have almost like an empty spaces as well for this design press it very hard you don't want too much product either press it very hard And same on the top. Okay. So just with the movement of the brush, we can create a really nice and beautiful designs. And now we are going to give it a cure. So cure it well. The next step is to apply the top coat all over. And the reason for it is because we want to use some sugar on top of it. And if we don't apply the top coat, then the sugar might stick in into other places and we really don't want that okay that's my tip cure so i'm just going to take a high shine no wipe top gel apply it through the entire design and then give it a cure okay i'm just going to take out my sugar which is in a lamp and it's holding my finger in place so swap for different sugar there we are i have to cure the top coat really well and then using the deliner brush we are going to add a fine detail which we will sugar as well okay that's my top coat almost cured and now we are going to add those beautiful detail for this design so i'm just taking the small amount of the paint on french gel and we are going to add those amazing detail okay so this is the background of our, of our leaves or something you're just going to outline it go inside it then outline it as well inside so it's like a flower veins you can also change the flower shape as well by adding some extra um, lines on the side so here again drag it in the middle same in here add something extra okay so another one in here and I love the fact like they are <clears throat> really smudgy inside and then the edges are so sharp. Okay, same in here. And it looks fab on the client's nails as well, like a really beautiful technique. I'm just going to remove the excess of the product from my brush. And I also show you if something goes wrong as well. I had just two big blobs of the product. So just take a boo scrub and clean this part really well.
just going to open my gel because it must have hit the lamp. <laughs> there we are. This one you can even prolong it. So really interesting. Look, now add some extra detail. It almost looks like a butterfly, like only on the one side. Actually, you could do it this technique of butterfly as well. Yeah, totally. Okay, do it the same on this one. Is something on the side in here and we're almost done don't overdo it that's the last one <laughs> uh, it looks pretty the way it is like absolutely beautiful uh, I love the color combinations the blue purple and a pink and then on top of it, I'm just going to sprinkle it with the sugar. So the sugar will only go outside this white outline, which we have done it. And exchange the design even more. Just sprinkle it. Absolutely beautiful. I would love, like, I would love to do it on a client full set like this. And also this... Um, Pigment like the sugar looks absolutely beautiful on top of this pink as well Absolutely amazing. Okay, another idea in my head <laughs> Now let's cure it properly and then once it's cure, I will show you the final results So something a little bit more salon wear Because uh, Yeah, we, we need to get ready for the clients uh, when we allowed to serve them in again and I think this is an absolutely amazing design for a summer springtime um, because you could change it you could kind of uh, swap the colors underneath or even the flower part we could mix it uh, the color plus red with the paint on French gel and by the way the color plus set comes in as a red blue yellow red blue yellow black and black and white and now i don't have color plus black and white it is available but i'm always swapping it so i'm not using the color plus black instead of color plus black i'm using the foil design gel so it is a black color inside and it's better because i can use it for transfer foil i can use it for transferring the chrome and i can use it as a black uh, paint gel and same for a french I don't use the white color plus gel because I can use the faint, uh, the French one so I can have multicolor use which will be the baby boomer absolutely perfect and the French and all the sugaring and uh, things like that but it's a white color so it can easily replace the color plus white and color plus black um, and I like it uh, yeah better this way <laughs> now I'm just going to use the brush to remove the excess of the sugar and look what a beauty we have created today absolutely amazing and this sugar is so nice like so beautiful on top of this color wow oh and I give you the link in the description of the video as well because you guys quite often have asked me what sugar I um, use as well so we have we got our own sugar and it's available on their website as well which is dorotapalitska.com um, and yeah but look how beautiful it is I love this nail I really do 
and it could be a butterfly here as well. Yeah, you could do similar design with the butterfly. It does. It is not a butterfly, but yeah, <laughs> it just reminds me we could do it the butterflies, roses, and other different things. Anyway, guys, I hope you have really enjoyed watching this tutorial, glittery hacks, and bye for now.